Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Hyman, and just like you, I'm a practicing clinician. And I'm pretty sure that you see a lot of the same types of patients that come through my office every week. Patients presenting with complex chronic conditions like diabetes, autoimmune disease, or digestive problems, asthma, allergies, and lots more. These are the patients that don't seem to get any better no matter what you do. Now, I know that you care about helping your patients return to wellness. And I also know that medical school did not adequately prepare us for the biggest challenge facing clinicians today, treating the root causes of chronic disease. So let me tell you about a patient of mine, a young patient named Clayton. He had severe asthma. He had a whole slew of comorbid conditions, what I call a holistic patient. It's a whole list of problems. He had allergies and ADD and anxiety. And as a result, he was doing really poorly in school. Now, I'm sure you recognize this common clinical picture. The primary complaint is often only part of the problem. See, just treating his asthma wouldn't have put Clayton back on the path to health. Adding more prescriptions for every symptom or diagnosis wasn't going to change his health. So how can we help patients like Clayton get on the right track? Well, when we analyze Clayton's situation from the perspective of his system, his whole body is a system, we discovered that he had immune dysfunction, that he had mitochondrial dysfunction, and he had terrible gut issues. Why? Because he was eating a diet of junk food. He had multiple nutritional imbalances, and he also had taken lots of antibiotics in his earlier years, which we now know can cause health problems in adulthood. The thing is, we couldn't just treat one dysfunction. We had to treat them all because everything is interconnected in the body at the physiological and the biochemical level. So how do you treat somebody with such complex interconnected problems? Well, we gave him an anti-inflammatory diet since virtually all of his complaints had some basis in a heightened inflammatory response. We eliminated gluten from his diet because he had anti glidin antibodies. Not celiac, but anti glidin antibodies. We eliminated foods that he was allergic or sensitive to. And then by adding probiotics and using antifungal medications that controlled the bad microbes in his gut, we were able to repair his gut. Two months later, he came back symptom free. He was off all the seven medications and he was doing great in school. But what struck me as the most unusual outcome wasn't the fact that his asthma or his headaches or his stomach aches or his ADD and his allergies all went away. It was a change in his handwriting. This was his handwriting before I saw him. And this was his handwriting two months later. So the real question is, why did it take so many years for Clayton to get the treatment that he needed? It's because medical school prepared us well to deal with emergent issues and acute infections, but did not prepare us to think about the fundamental upstream causes of chronic disease. By thinking about systems rather than symptoms, we can treat patients with chronic diseases without a pile of prescriptions. And to do that, we need to be thinking about a very important question. It's the question, why? I'm here to tell you that we can get to the root of our patients' health problems and improve their outcomes. We can identify the physiological and lifestyle changes and intervene in the right way at the right time. We can actually reverse the underlying dysfunctions and put our patients on the path to health. And no, it's not magic. It's a coherent, methodological, structured way of thinking about chronic disease. It's a new operating system for understanding how the body works and using that information to get to the root of the problem and treat disease in a completely different way, a way that I was certainly not taught in medical school. Now, as practitioners at the front line of chronic disease, we have to be good diagnosticians looking for the patterns and connections that link everything together. But we don't learn that in medical school, and that's what functional medicine is about. In functional medicine, when we intervene, we attack the fundamental or upstream imbalances that downstream create a whole complex chronic array of conditions. We look for the points of the greatest leverage to help the entire system right itself. We look for patterns, and then we connect the dots between all the things that are going wrong in the patient's biology. So how do you get to that place where you do feel comfortable practicing the medicine of the future? How do you get comfortable leveraging all the tools that are at your disposal? How do you become empowered to combat the problems underlying the chronic diseases that present in our patients in our office every single day?